Hi, I'm Lucy from Sew Essential and I'm here today to share some of the latest independent sewing patterns that we've just added to our website. And I've also picked out some gorgeous new fabrics that you could pair them with as well. So lots of newness here as well, things you might not have seen before. As always, all of the things I talk about are available on our lovely website and you'll find links to our website and the products I mentioned below. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe because every Friday I bring you a video packed full of sewing goodness and if you can't wait a whole week do check out our links to our social media accounts below where we post daily on most of them. So I've got a little roundup here as I said of some of the independent sewing patterns that have come out recently that we've added to our site and there's quite an overarching theme with them which I think is perfect for this time of year. So we're now sort of coming into mid to, the, to late Feb um, and I don't know about you but I'm kind of constantly thinking about spring and hoping it's just around the corner but it can still be really quite chilly here in the UK um, right through spring and sometimes sadly even into summer so it's quite nice to have some layers and things that you can use to layer up on those chillier days and I've got a lovely selection of cardigans hoodies and a quilted jacket to show you so um, I just thought I'd wear one of my favorite hoodies which just comes in so useful for so many things in this country all year round so it's made up in our sweatshirt fabric which is fleece backed um, and comes in a wide range of colors I'm going to show you some of the other ones today Day. it's washed and worn beautifully I made this probably a couple of years ago now it's a cotton sweatshirt fabric um, and yeah it's just wonderful it's comfortable it's warm but this hoodie it's Jolly 3355 this one which um, is available on our website um, but I've worn it I wear it in the winter I wear it in the spring I wear it in the summer even in the summer in the UK we always do a UK beach holiday and I very often will put this on with a pair of shorts to play cricket or, you know, have a walk along the beach on those cooler days. So I really do think that these cardig cardigans and hoodies and things are great for, you know, all year round wear in this country and probably lots of other countries where people are watching us as well. So let's get started with the patterns. The first one I want to talk to you about is the Pearl Cardigan by Tilly and the Buttons absolutely love this pattern cannot wait to make it it comes in a size range from um, a 1 to 10 so the one is a 30 inch bust 24 waist and 33 hip and the 10 is a 48 bust 42 waist and 51 hip so nice good um, size range there the options with this one, it's a wrap cardigan. It's finished with a band around the neckline. It's got cuffs and it's got a waistband. It's cropped, so it sits around your sort of high waist, which I absolutely love. I love wearing high-waisted jeans, especially, and shorts, um, and that just will look great with those. But equally, if you're more of a dress person, finishing on the waist, it looks really good with a lot of dresses as well. Um, so yeah, it's a, just a really contemporary look. Um, it is a wrap and it ties, um, at the side and then all of the versions there's two long sleeve versions just a standard long sleeve with a cuff or you can go for a balloon sleeve with a cuff I love a balloon sleeve personally so nice to have that option in there and then there's also a version which is short sleeve so again that could be really useful for spring or summer and it says to use medium weight drapey knit fabrics with at least 20% stretch um, so I, I did read up on this and they suggest that you know you could go for a more structured a uh, ponty sort of weight fabric if you wanted to make a bit of drama with the balloon sleeve options but also you can go for some really drapey knits with this as well and get quite different looks so lots and lots of mileage there it's also got a dropped shoulder which is quite nice for anyone who has issues in the armhole area with fitting um, a dropped shoulder just makes all of that a lot easier it's a lot more casual and relaxed it's not so difficult as getting the armhole in the right place if you ever have any issues there so I think this is going to be a super super popular pattern for Tilly and the Buttons I definitely need to get one of these in my wardrobe I've got a couple two or three maybe cardigans that style 
that I bought from shops that are knitted in wool um, but it'll be great to get some in a jersey fabric in my wardrobe so the first fabric I chose is this gorgeous gorgeous dashwood cotton jersey absolutely glorious look at the colors in this so you've got that coral color which I absolutely love lovely pink teal all set against a black background so really striking lovely contemporary print which would work beautifully with that contemporary design of pattern in my opinion and I would just pair that with my jeans and then if you're not into um, prints and that sort of thing I also thought that this John Caldor Suzette um, jersey would work really well so this is a lovely weight as you can see it's got nice drape and movement but it's a good sort of ponty weight jersey plenty of stretch in it and it's got a textured finish to it it's just a very subtle textured finish um, but it's really lovely I've seen people make jumpsuits trousers all sorts in this it's such a lovely fabric and that comes in the red the navy and the ivory but I've had my eye on a red cardigan for ages I really think I'd get loads of use out of it especially when things start to warm up here so I'm pretty certain one of the um, this will be turned into a pearl cardigan at some point for me but yeah really excited about that pattern I think it's great I love it um, the next pattern is the Marlowe sweater, um, which we would call a cardigan in the UK by True Bias. So True Bias have just released a few new patterns. Um, we've got them all on the site. Unfortunately, the smaller size, the 0 to 18, is currently out of stock at the moment at our supplier. So while I'm filming this, it may well be back in stock by the time you're watching but I just need to say it's out of stock at the moment but it will come back in however the size 14 to 30 which I'm going to show you is in stock at the moment so that's great and great that it's such a nice inclusive size range again so the 14 runs from a 41 and a half bust 34 and a half waist and 43 and a half hip um, and then the 30 is a 57 and a half bust 50 and a half waist and 59 and a half hip and it's a, an, again a very contemporary pattern so we're looking at an oversized cardigan with a drop shoulder a deep v-neck finished with a band again round the neckline and at the waist and then cuffs as well and then uh, the idea is to put large buttons on it as well again for a very contemporary look you've got options for patch pockets and you've got options for a cropped version which is my preference as you know but also if you don't really like wearing cropped versions there is one that will finish at about the mid thigh so just a classic easy to wear cardigan that I think again I would get so much wear out of um, it can be sewn up in stretch or non-stretch fabrics but the bindings round the neck and the waist and the cuffs do require at least 20% stretch so they suggest you can either use the same fabric for both or you could use a contrasting fabric so I thought for this one I just wanted to show you our beautiful Robert Kaufman just knocking my threads off the uh, stand there let me put that down there um robert kaufman flannel fabrics that we've had in stock oh they're just gorgeous and there's other designs as well i've just out picked out a couple that i like so this these are 95 percent cotton five percent polyester these ones but i think we've got some hundred percent cotton ones as well in like a check um, a really sort of mini dog tooth and a mini herringbone as well in different colours but I and I think they're 100% cotton but this um, cotton one with a tiny bit of polyester um, I just absolutely love this purple colourway it's called plum and it's a really nice weight let me just get a single layer of the fabric for you it's a lovely weight, um, would be perfect for something like a cardigan. People have been making like linden sweatshirts and things in these as well. It's got a lovely soft handle on the right side, as you'd expect from Robert Kaufman, beautiful quality. And this plum colourway has got these really fun multicoloured speckles on it. So um, there's like a bright pink, a green and a blue. They're re it's really subtle, but just a really nice fun fabric. And I thought you could easily pick out one of those colours 
and then use that um, for one of the bindings perhaps. So that was one of the options because you wouldn't be able to use this fabric for the bindings because it's a non-stretch so you would need to go for a, a contrast binding um, for this fabric. Um, but also we have got some navy blue ribbing fabric which would work really well for those bindings and I think tones quite nicely with that plum fabric. Um, I think that could work quite well if you were up for a contrast. So if you haven't seen this before, this is tubular ribbing. You can find this with the sweatshirt fabrics on our website. So it comes in a tube like so. You can see it's just one continuous piece. And I've used this before and it's really easy to use. You just use either edge as you fold if you're cutting on the fold and just cut out in the normal way. Or if you wanted to make it into a single layer, you could cut down one of the folds and open it up. But I just used the, fo used the folds um, as to cut out on the fold. Um, so yeah, I thought that would go rather nicely with that. Or it would also complement the Air Force blue colorway that we've got in that fabric as well. I think it would work really really well with that and that's again got those little speckles on it um, this time in black and white on the on the blue colorway um, and I think both of those would be lovely and cozy for that cardigan pattern then the next pattern I wanted to show you is by Cashmerette who are their strap line is sewing for curves so this is a company who specialize in um, a really inclusive size range but also they do cup sizes on all their patterns and they go from a C to an H cup so if you're somebody with a full bust who struggles getting things to fit properly um, these patterns could be great for you we've got the full range on our website there's loads of different designs this is just the latest one but this is the Stanton hoodie which comes in sizes 0 to 16 or 12 to 32 so a size 0 is a 33 full bust for the CD cup, a 34 full bust for the EF cup and a 35 full bust for the GH cup. It's a 25 waist, a 35 hip and there's even a bicep measurement on these as well if you have an issue with fitting your arms. So it's 9 and 7 eighths for the size 0. If we go to the 32 now, it is... For a CD cup, a 60 inch burst, for an EF cup, a 61 burst, and for a GH cup, a 62 burst, a 52 waist, a 62 hip, and a bicep, standard bicep 21 and an eighth, or full bicep 23 and an eighth. So if you've got fit issues in any of those areas, these patterns have already worked in some options for you to help you choose the size that's going to fit you really well in those areas, which I think is fantastic. And just like I said about this hoodie, you know, a hoodie is a great way to layer up throughout the year. There's an option with this one for a zip up version or one without the zip. Um, there's um, one that's at the pullover, it ends at the high hip, it's got lined pockets and a fully lined hood, so that's the one without the zip. And then the other one's got a centre front zip, ends at the high hip, has got lined po pockets and a fully lined hood. Um, and again, they suggest here some nice ideas for colour blocking on the packets. You know, you could go for, there's a bit of a yoke on the zip up version across here, so you could... Um, colour block that and match it to the cuffs and the waistband as they have done on the images which I thought was a nice idea or you could go for it all the same colour. The fabrics they suggest she says it needs to have 15% um, cross wise stitch and then any lining fabrics need to be uh, jersey. We've got loads of jersey options on the website for the lining fabrics and then I chose this sweatshirt fabric um, in a couple of different colours which I'll show you. Um, it's this this sweatshirt fabric's just about probably just about got the 15% stretch. It's you know it's close. It's not a very stretchy sweatshirt fabric but as you can see I've made a hoodie in it and it was absolutely fine so um, I just thought I'd share this with you but we've got lots of different colours we've got red emerald green like a wine colour um, but the colours I picked out I thought this grey is a nice colour so it's like um, a flecked marl effect um, light grey colour and we also do these prim 
little prim cuffs and waistband ribbing packs which you could use to pair with that and do the whole contrast thing that they've suggested on the packet um, or another colorway option that I thought might work quite well because the the sweatshirt fabric she does suggest you do need to use something more stretchy um, for the cuffs and the waistband I used the actual fabric for my cuffs and waistband on this one but obviously it just means that it doesn't it doesn't pull it in as much it doesn't sort of you know it's quite sort of loose I suppose so I just tend to turn mine up like that but the, for the cuffs it was fine I just tested that they fitted I just tried them on before I sewed them to the jumper um, but if you did want to use like a stretchy ribbing fabric again I thought you could go for the lovely teal colourway in the sweatshirt fabric and then you could go for this ribbing fabric as a contrast the navy with the teal looks lovely and my mother-in-law Angela made some uh, loungewear with this colour combo last year and it looked really really nice so I thought I'd share that with you and then the next pattern is by Chalk and Notch. So it's another hoodie pattern. Again, very, very contemporary look on this one. Good size range. Again, we go from a naught to a 30 in this one. So the naught is a 32 bust if for an A or a B, a 34 bust for a C or a D. So we've got cup options here again, uh, 25 waist and 35 hip. And then the 30 is a 56 bust bust for an A or a B, 58 bust for a C or a D, 49 waist and 59 hip. Um, few different views here. So again, a cropped, um, cropped jumper hoodie, very contemporary. Um, the option for just a normal waistband or you can go for a gathered waistband with a drawstring, um, which I thought was a nice option. Or you can go for a really cropped option. Um, you've got options for a bit of a balloon sleeve again, which finishes in a cuff or just a straight sleeve that finishes in a cuff. The hoodies got eyelets and then drawstrings to come out of those. Um, it's a raglan sleeve and there's an option for a short sleeve version as well. Um, and the fabric they suggest a medium weight stretch knit fabric with good recovery. Um, they say if your fabric has less than 50% stretch, it's recommended to use rib fabric for the bands and cuffs. So again, you could use the sweatshirt fabric, which I was talking about earlier, and then use the ribbing um, for the cuffs and the waistband. Or you could go for stretchier fabrics, you know, wh whatever suits you. But I really like the page hoodie. It's a lovely contemporary cropped hoodie. And again, I think I would find one of these really useful in my wardrobe as well. I really could do with getting another one made. I'd like to make um, this one in the red colourway of this sweatshirt fabric for my holiday in the summer because as I say you know a hoodie especially like we sit outside in the evenings on holiday as well and have a glass of wine um, and you know I always need to put a hoodie on probably a blanket as well um, when we're on holiday in the UK so yeah I really want to get around to making that and then finally the last pattern I wanted to show you is a Megan Nielsen the Javier jacket and coat um, so this runs in sizes 0 to 20 it's supposed to be a really fairly easy sew um, which is great because you know it just gives you an opportunity to have a go at making some outerwear if you haven't done that before without being frightened of it being too complicated um, size wise we go from a 32 bust 24 waist 34 hip up to a 46 bust 38 waist and 48 hip and there's lots of different options and looks with this pattern so it's a loose fit drop shoulder jacket and coat so all of them have been sort of drop shoulder today I think um, which is nice and easy to fit actually maybe not the Stanton hoodie you'd have to check that one um, but there's multiple lengths deep angled feature pockets unlined full lining or quilted options and belt or tie closures so view A is a mid-length unlined jacket with a collar band View B is a mid-length quilted jacket with a binding. View C is a lined coat with a collar band and belt. View D is a quilted coat with binding. And view E is an unlined crop jacket with collar band. 
View F is a quilted crop jacket with binding. So loads of options there, loads of options to have fun with the binding, try out different lengths. There's a lot of mileage in this pattern. Um, you know, you could get quite a lot of different jackets out of this one pattern. So I think that's great. You can use for the fabrics, light to medium weight fabrics such as cotton, linen, chambray blends for, um, for the quilted versions B, D and F. Um, it says avoid thick fabrics or these versions can become bulky and then you can use medium weight fabrics such as linens, cottons or medium to heavyweight coating fabrics such as boiled felted or suiting wool for views A, C and E and then it says pre-quilted fabrics are suitable for all views so that's what I wanted to show you on the cover um, one of the models has got like a lovely sort of a uh, creamy white sort of colourway um, version on with a grey sort of binding round it and we have got this lovely quilted fabric there is more of this downstairs I just brought a small piece up um, but this is a similar sort of look to what she's got on on the packet um, so it's like a very it's like a white sort of quilt pre-quilted fabric it's stretchy and it's nice and warm and then it's got like a little grey marl fleck on it. I really like this fabric. Um, and I thought that would be great for any of the versions of that pattern. And again, you could choose out some, you know, contrasting binding or pick up that darker grey fleck and use that and create a similar look to what's on the pattern packet. And we've also got this fabric or a similar fabric, a pre-quilted one in a black on the website as well. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that little roundup of cardigans, hoodies and jackets to take us through the seasons. As I mentioned at the start of the video, they're all on our website. So do jump on and have a look and all the products are linked below. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.